As you can see, the sun's setting behind me over there. You can see it's a bit bright. We're on the way to my favourite location. This is the end. Um, I don't know if it's wobbling about or not. This is the place where I captured my award winning Astro Photographer of the Year image. So as you can see in the background, just about there, I'm at my favourite location which is the Sycamore Gap in Northumberland and um, as you can see there isn't a cloud in the sky which is really good for um, astrophotography, not brilliant for a sunset but that's not what I've came here for so uh, as you can see I'm out of breath, sweating a little bit, I think it's about, it's only about a 25 minute walk but it's uh, full of snow and um, it's all uphill so um, yeah brilliant stuff so as you can see on this shot what I've done is I've come to the opposite side of the wall um, so basically I'm pointing south now the sun's just set over there um, and I'm just hoping to try and capture some of the colours. If you can see on the back of the screen there, there's still a bit of orange. And where the sun sets, apparently there's meant to be this phenomenon called the zodiacal light. So, we shall see when it gets a little bit darker. Um, the expert, Starman Astro, said roughly about half past six, we should be able to see it. So, we'll see if I'll be able to capture it later on. But if I spin the camera around a little bit now, this is going to point in north. Um, so that's north at the moment. I'll try and zoom in because this Lumix isn't the... Uh, sorry about that. So that's north. And dial it down a little bit. And that's not, it's not focusing. Um, let me see. Focus, focus, focus. I'll do, try and focus on that. All right. It looks a little bit green. <laughs> Just a tiny bit, so we should see. We might have a bit of luck. I don't know. Looks a bit funny. So that's the back of the camera there. We're at the Sycamore Gap. I'm at eight, eight seconds, 2.8. I'm uh, ISO 64, two second timer. I know you can't see me. Um, I need to get a better vlogging camera at the moment, I think, for in low light. And that's, that's just, um, yeah, eight seconds. And what I've got on at the moment, I've got the 7200 on and I'm trying to, I thought the Andromeda Galaxy was behind the tree but it's not unfortunately so I'll have to go back to a wide angle lens in a bit. I'll take another shot, um, we've got the white balance set at, uh, I think it's 
think it's 4,000 I think. For the shot, for the shot, I've gone back to the wide-angle lens. So I'm at ISO. I'm going to change it down to 4,000. I'm going to go to 15 seconds, two-second timer. I can hear a lot of people over there, so I'm guaranteeing a minute there'll be a lot of lights come on. And it's um, a bit fresh at the moment, shall we say? That's the back of the camera there, as you can see I'm at 15 seconds, 2.8, ISO 3200, I didn't have a 2 second timer on then, um, there's the trees over there, the Milky Way is right above it at the moment, there's no aurora but uh, some of the images are amazing and um, the temperature's just dropped a bit because the wind's picked up a little bit so uh, there we go, on the back of the camera if you can see that. And you can see my red light there, so I'll do it again. So, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to ISO 5000, 20 seconds. I put the I put the timer on. There we go, and we'll see how that looks. Take the light away this time. Keep counting. So, uh, won't take long, I don't think now. One, two, three. There we go. And that looks, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It's on the back of the camera. Looks okay. I'll post that image in a second. Yeah, so I've walked back to the car now, absolutely freezing. I'm going to drive back to Blackpool from where I am. Um, hope you enjoyed the images. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, if you want to come out with some Astro for a night out, just give us a shout. Bye for now.